first of all a lot of you have been requesting these formula shit but my book is not big enough that's why i did like two different pages stay tuned because i just need to cover up as much information as i can so i hope you can see clearly because and also my handwriting is bad <laughs> i'm writing these formulas because i got all of these uh on the exam it's not gonna be the same one but like that's what i got that's most questions that I got. So these formulas, I just like mem memorized them and I wrote them down for you guys. So the first one is the triangle. So the triangle, as you can see, is on the uh, right side. You find the area. You have to um, say 1 over 2 B times H. Just multiply those two. And then for the rectangle, to find the perimeter, uh, the second one is like you're multiplying 2 times the length and 2 times the width to get the perimeter of the rectangle and the area you just do length times width and for the circle circumference is just 2 pi r so, matter of fact let me write it down here i just say pi is 3.14 so multiply this number with the radius which is like just half of the circle so full like from here to here, that's the diameter and half of the circle only from here to here, that's the radius. Make sure you remember that. And then this, to find the area, I believe it's just all clear to you guys. Half base times high or whatever. You know, B1, that's your B1. Your B2 is at the bottom. Your height is right there. You know, multiply all of that with the half and get your answer for the area. And this one is the most common one and the most... um like ask questions oh my god you guys they just put in numbers right here and they expect you to find some kind of like if they say find b or something you gotta plug in all these numbers into this formula to get the answer so just make sure you pay attention and you know your formulas so because knowing all your formulas i feel like it will definitely help so make sure you remember you guys so i'm gonna do this so if you want to take a picture a screenshot or whatever and then the next page is the same stuff i feel like the necessary information you gotta know one inch is 2.54 centimeters one pound is 0 0.45 kilograms one mile is 52.80 feet one foot is 12 inches the slop so there is different formulas for it just know like you know just go with the easiest one for me this was the easiest one it's so easy because y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 it's just kind of easy to remember and then for the distance formula this was kind of like my most asked question for the distance i really wish like i practiced the distance formula more because they were kind of asking it a lot so just make sure you like practice on this and then this one is the soccer tour i know you all have had it before so it's like sign is opposite over hypotenuse the cosine is adjacent over that tangent I don't, i'm so bad with words opposite over adjacent so just make sure you know that and all that goes to soccer tour that's kind of like the simplest formula to remember it instead of writing all of this down then the quadratic formula that's it wasn't really asked as much but then i feel like it's necessary for you to know look they'll just plug in numbers and then what you gotta know so just make sure you memorize this formula it's all about plugging in numbers you guys add the extra information that i need feel like you need to know the formulas is one gallon is four quarts one liter is 1000 milliliters one pound is 16 ounces one kilogram is 1000 grams and then on the right side of that that's the most important thing that's like it kind of goes out along with this it's just hypotenuse adjusting and the opposite that's kind of like the diagram for all of this so this guys go, goes together make sure you remember that and then the last thing i want to talk about is practice 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 yes if you know these formulas it's going to be definitely helpful and what i recommend for you guys i recommend like getting in the exam getting a piece of paper and writing all the formulas everything you know everything you know down all these formulas that you know down so whenever you see a question you'll be like oh i can just go back to that formula you see what i mean so it's like easy so i just want you guys to know like it's all about practice just keep practicing practice 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 because it's very helpful for you and you just you don't want to take the answer many times 
because the aslop is very annoying so just make sure you try to get through it if i'm missing anything i'm gonna make another video of like a part two of formulas that you need to know because i couldn't fit all the formulas that i got on one on like these two pages so i'm gonna make probably like another part two going in depth but i just wanted to make it this quick one because a lot of people are writing as well exams and then i just wanted them to have some kind of an idea so uh, thank you so much guys and don't forget to subscribe make sure to subscribe like comment and if you have any questions just follow my instagram at washa natasha thank you so much guys bye